massive, massive weekend. I don't even need to explain to you. Formula E is in Cape Town. A man who's no stranger to the, sh the city because he spends a lot of time in his off time here. But now he's here in a professional capacity as a Formula E driver. Calvin yeah. van der Linde, it's so lekker chatting to you again, yeah, buddy. Yeah, likewise. Um, listen, big news, obviously, that you've you've left your, your Audi team. And I'm excited because I know how versatile a driver you are. And I think we're in for a surprise come real yeah. soon. Uh, obviously, it'll be announced in later. But I've got a good feeling <laughs> we're going to be seeing more of you in, uh, in, in a different vehicle doing yeah. a different part and, and fulfilling a different chapter in your life. Yeah, you know what? It, 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 there comes a time in life, as you'll know, yeah. different challenges. Are, if you spend a long time in a certain environment, you yes. want change. You yeah. want to you wanna challenge yourself. You want to come out of your comfort zone. Yeah. For me, after nine years at Audi, they were great, very successful yes. years. Yeah. But I need to challenge myself and I want to go see new avenues and, and try new things. And yeah, this formally is just the beginning of, of that direction. Open wheel racing. I mean, this is a, a closest to the close that it gets. Yeah. What's it like in that car? It, it's crazy. I mean, I sat in Saudi Arabia the first time when I jumped in. You, you're millimeters from the ground. I just looked at my mechanics. I just shook my head. What, like, what am I doing here? This is so far out of what I'm used to. I always had a roof above my head. And now you got the wind in your in your face. It, your, your helmet is blowing around. You know, you got no sound. Yeah. So you got to adapt. There's so many things that are new and fresh, and it's yeah, it's just exciting. Oh, I was, and this is a question I think for people that let's sit in grandstands. When you're going past, do you really even get to see people? Uh, uh, do you have enough time? Because you're you're in that tight circuit. You yeah. kind of feel that you're concentrating on the road ahead. Do you know they're there watching you? Oh, you do. And I think the South African crowd we will know. No. It, you know it helps with these cars. We have no noise, so they're even more important for the crowd to be cheering when you come past. Go but, go yeah. but. We'll hear that. We'll so hear that for sure come race day. So I'm excited to see that that element of it. It's going to be amazing. Um, speaking of that, having this in Cape Town, it's a great advertisement for Cape Town, for South African, um, um, you know, for, for tourism and sports South Africa. But also, it's like every athlete at some point of their career wants to perform in front of a home crowd. Did yeah. you think it would happen? Uh, two months ago, when you and I were chatting in Cape Town, did you think two months later you'd be back in the city racing? Bro, it's unreal. Like, to be honest with you, I was living my best life back then. Yeah. <laughs> So I was zero prepared for a racing season yeah. at that point. And to be honest with you, I expected my racing season is only starting in May. May, exactly. Yeah. Here we are. We've had four weeks on the road traveling to Saudi, India, now here at home. I mean, my world's been flipped upside down the last few weeks. So, you know what? It's, it's a bit of a blow. I haven't had time to really think about what's going on. You know, yeah. you're going from pre PR event to PR yeah, event. Exactly. Different country, different yeah. time zones. You don't have time to process it. So I think after a couple of weeks, I have a, I have a beer at home and then watch and then, all the races and absolutely. look back on it. On a weekend like this where your brother's also competing at the same time, what happens? Tomorrow, would you get a chance to be able to pick up the phone and go, Sheldon, listen, all the best for it. And you'll go, hey, hey, Calvin, all the best as yeah. well. And like, share a little bit of time to get on the phone before it, your respective it, events. It's crazy. I'll tell you a funny story. So when I came back from India, yeah. my brother was in Australia doing Bathurst. And I'm not even joking. This is how it played out. As I entered the door, he was going out to go for the next race. No we only shook hands and said, cheers, dude. Nice like, seeing you for 10 seconds. He went to the airport and yeah, unreal. Jeez, That's literally how it goes that sometimes is with us. That's crazy. So, yeah, Both well, in so. the same country, one up north, one down in Cape yeah. Town. We're so proud of you, mate. You Thank really you so are. Much, uh, and you, you've got so much energy to give. And I love the fact that you're so approachable as well. It's a Thanks, sport man. where there's a lot of focus, dedication required. And I love that about you as well. I want to quickly touch on that. In his off time, he spends it running up and down mountains, staying as fit as possible because you have to be inside a vehicle like that. Yeah, we have I actually underestimated the Formula E aspect of it. Yeah. It's the first time now without power steering. In my endurance cars, we got power steering like you guys in your road cars. You're, you're correct. It's the first of my career I don't have that. So my shoulders oh, are feeling it. they're feeling it, I have to the say. The neck? Neck is okay. I'm used to that, to sure, be honest, with the endurance stuff. But yeah. honestly, my shoulders, shoulders. upper body, Jeez. you know, it's a tight cockpit. So you're sitting in there for a tall guy like me. I'm yeah. really cramped in there. Didn't so, uh, yeah, you're feeling it. And, you know, the hours are in the off-season in the gym paid off. And also the paddle games. Absolutely. <laughs> we love the sport of paddle. Listen, Calvin, all the best for the weekend, mate. Thanks, Thanks so much for, for the support. For spending some time with Car Magazine. We love you. We've been following your story on Car. Uh, and the guys are really, really impressed uh, with your career and how what an inspiration you are to many Southern Thanks so much, guys. I mean, it means the world to me. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Much. Thanks, mate. See you soon. Okay, cheers, brother. Oh, <laughs>